During an intense interview with Tucker Carlson, former President Donald Trump unleashed a barrage of questions aimed at Vice President Kamala Harris, doubting her capability as a potential president. Trump's scathing critique of Harris's leadership skills was stark and unyielding. So back to Biden, I'm interested. So you think he's failing? He obviously is failing. I think it's clear to everybody. But that would make Kamala Harris the candidate? Well, not really. I mean, I guess they'd have uh, maybe a free for all. A lot of people say she has to remain for certain reasons, the candidate. She has to. I don't think that's true, actually. I don't think that other people would stand for it. Uh, she has some bad moments. Her moments are almost as bad as his. I think his are worse, actually. Yeah. But she seems pretty senile, too. She speaks in, uh, in rhyme. And, uh, it's weird. It's weird. But she has bad moments. And in rhyme? What do you, well, the way she talks, the bus will go here and then the bus will go there because that's what buses do. And it's weird. The whole thing is weird. This is not a president of the United States future. And uh, I think they probably have some kind of a primary and other people will get involved. I'm mean, Newsom, right? I mean, could, that's... Be, could be. I mean, you know, I always got along well with him, believe it or not. But could be him, could be somebody else. He suggested that Harris's speeches and public statements reveal a troubling lack of competence for high office. Trump's harsh words echo the sentiments of many conservatives who question Harris's ability to handle the presidency if the need arises. His focus on her communication style, which he mocked as superficial and lacking depth, hit a nerve. The public often looks for clear, direct communication from their leaders, and Trump seized on this, portraying Harris's mannerisms as undermining her credibility. Trump's remarks are interpreted as part of a broader strategy to destabilize the current administration by casting doubt on both President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. His criticisms resonate with those who believe the current leadership is falling short and advocate for a change to protect the country's future. The emotional weight of his words underscores the deep divisions and high stakes in the ongoing political landscape.